So as the last and final messenger sent to mankind, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, he told us to really reflect often about death. Reflect upon the destroyer of pleasures. Many of us are delighting in our lusts and our passions. We're chasing this world. We're chasing that dollar. We're chasing all the material things. We're working on our physical physique and we're working on our minds, but the soul, we're neglecting it. So before a situation comes where you might end up in a hospital, you might end up with no legs, you might end up with no eyes, you might end up in a situation that you won't be able to even make a prostration to your Creator. You won't even be able to do the things that you're doing now. Some of the hard hearts that just have gone away, they've, they've made money their God. They've made a woman their God. They've made a man their God. That's all they think about is the next party or the next good time. But as you see, if tomorrow you get hit by a truck or a car, or you fall from a fall, tall building, or you get cancer, or you get a, a disease that you're not, you're, you're terminally ill, and now you, you lose all these wonderful benefits, take advantage of your health now and use it in the proper way. If you're Muslim, you know that as Muslims we need to be praying, we need to be establishing that direct connection with our prayer minimum five times a day. We need to stay away from the things that are displeasing to God Almighty. We need to pray to Him alone and not His creation. We need to follow the Sunnah, the way of the last and final messenger sent to mankind and stay away from gambling and alcohol and drugs, promiscuity. There's no dating in Islam and many of the youth are caught up on the Facebook and using them in an unproductive way. So if you see, if you're a young boy or young girl and you have parents and you're disrespecting your parents, this can be you tomorrow. It can be you tomorrow that now your health, that now you might be playing soccer, baseball, football, and now you get hit and you end up paralyzed or you end up getting struck down and you're in the hospital and it's almost flatlined. Now is the time that angel of death can come at any time. Melakomot, he's there waiting. So are you prepared for that moment, that moment when your soul will be extracted from your body? Are you ready to meet your creator when you're six feet under, five feet under in the ground and the dirt is thrown over your body? Then it's too late. Now is the time. لا إله إلا الله محمد رسول الله عليه صلاة الله وآله والأحبة